Madison's police chief says he can live with the extra control the city council approved over his department last night. In fact, it was part of a compromise. Adam Duxter explains what the vote means for Madison officers when it comes to what they can and cannot use to gear up. For years, MPD has relied on military surplus to provide things like jackets, flashlights, and masks as a part of a federal local program known as the 1033 program. But as conversations of militarizing police are continuing in our community, city council saying they want more control over just exactly what MPD is getting. Today, Interim Chief of Police Vic Wall is making sure things are clear about how the department collects military surplus items. Without having the background and, and a real sort of functional understanding of, of how we use the program, it, it can conjure up a lot of images of, of uh, you know, military weapons and things like that. Over the summer, the city council proposed an ordinance that would cut the department's partnership with the 1033 program entirely. It turns out that would end up costing a lot of money. We save uh, you know, anywhere from $25,000, uh, around $25,000 a year in o annual operating uh, costs and about $100,000 a year in capital fund costs. That led Alder Keith Furman to try and come up with a different solution. Last night, that item passes. The city council did. On a 13 to 6 vote, it passed an ordinance that bans MPD from using the program to get things like bayonets, tear gas, or tank-like trucks. Well, not ending the program program altogether. Wall says he's okay with these changes. I'm comfortable with, with what the final product was and I think it strikes a good balance. Well, for Alder Furman, this is a step towards transparency and community control. We, we need to really uh, think differently about how we're doing things and, and take steps uh, on, on many different issues um, related to public safety. And I think tonight was one of those, last night was one of those um, examples of them. In addition of limiting what MPD can get from this program, City Council Council is also limiting exactly how much of one thing they're allowed to ask for. Anything valued over $50,000 will now have to be approved by the City Council. For a full list of what MPD can and can no longer ask for from the 1033 program, you can visit our website, channel3000.com. In Madison, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. And MPD will also now provide the City Council with a list of items they're getting twice a year. Alder Furman says should they disagree with an item, they can vote to have it sent back.